iMovie has some simple tools which can dramatically improve your sound quality. Select the clip that you want to improve in the timeline. Above the media player panel, there are lots of different icons you can use to edit your video. Click on the volume button and you'll see a button which says auto. If you click that, iMovie will adjust the volume of your clip to whatever it thinks is best. But if you would prefer to go down the manual route, you can use the sliders to adjust the volume by percentage. So 100% is the original volume of the audio file and then you can drag it all the way up to 400 or all the way down to zero. What percentage is best will completely depend on your individual project, so have a play around, but I always like to make sure that there is no clipping or as little clipping as possible. Clipping happens when the audio is too loud for the output, which means that the sound ends up getting distorted. iMovie shows you where your audio is clipping, so where you can see that the tops of the waveforms are yellow, that's what we're trying to avoid, so let's drag those down a little bit. In this same window, you can select the option to lower the volume for other clips in your project and you can adjust that using the slider as well. This is really useful if you're using multiple layers of audio in one project. For example, if you have a dialogue track and a music track, like in this video. I would consider adding music to any editing project because it is such a simple way to completely transform the tone and the pacing of any video. If you want to use this song, you can get it on Lict. Lict is a chart music licensing platform which enables you to use popular music in your videos without copyright claims. Click the link in the description for a discount on your first track. Okay, so we've covered the volume tab. Let's move on to background noise. We can't all film in studios with perfect conditions, so sometimes we're probably going to have to deal with wind, the neighbour's construction, background noise. Click on the noise reduction and equaliser button. Here you can select the box for reducing background noise and then use the slider to decide how strongly you want to use that effect. 0% is just the original audio but often 100% can make you sound distorted like you're on the other end of the phone so it's best just to kind of play around with it and see what works best with your specific video. And lastly we have the equaliser tool. These are basically audio filters which pick up on specific elements of a track and emphasise them. I sometimes use the voice enhancer because I find that it reduces that background noise even more and then adjust the volume again just to avoid clipping. But as always you should have a play around and see what works best for your project. Subscribe to this channel for more useful videos like this one and don't forget that you can license this track as well as popular chart music from Lyft.